it's very boring. So Astrid is Jo. Um, I haven't really gotten to know Astrid very much, but she seems like she's very like working. I don't know. I just gave me that vibe, and she seems like she's very nice and like loyal to everyone. So yeah, nice. It's like my favorite character, but anyway. Slay. Mm. Um, yeah. Oh my god. god. Was gonna watch it. <laughs> Um, just I think because she's been here so long, and Richard's like one of the OGs, so I was like, it kind of makes sense, you know. Mm. But yeah, and he's yeah. like really good at everything he does and stuff. So yeah, Slay. Um, and then Blue's Meredith. Yes, Blue. <laughs> like Blue's like incredible at like everything. I swear, and she's like so like strong and everything. So yeah. Oh. Um. Sash is Arizona. Um, I feel like Sash is always so bubbly and just like funny and everything. So <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, Archie is Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's the chief, so yeah. <laughs> Big mama. Um, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like people just gave me Edison vibes. I don't know why. Yeah, you're right. But, yeah. Um, Alex is Christina. Woohoo. Um, again, don't really know why. <laughs> Alex just seems like she's very smart and, like, talented and stuff, um, so. don't yeah. know. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Barry's George. Betty. Um, <laughs> Barry. I mean, George Betty? is very stupid, but Barry's not, so, I mean, that's fine. Good old George. I mean, he <laughs> walks in front of a bus to save someone, but kills himself. Maybe oh, he oh do that. I would, that I would like never do that. that. <laughs> no. But yeah, he's very funny, just like random and stuff. I feel like Barry's quite like that. Barry's like, very random. says something and it's just funny. Love it. Um, Dux Dusky's Lexi. Oh my god, um, cute. Because she's like so sweet and like, like always cheers everyone up and stuff. So, yeah. Aww. Eddie's Andrew. Um, That's very nice. Like, like, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like it's a cross between it. him and um. Well, I'm just likes him in this show because he's Italian. I think. I think that's the. Oh, I hate Italian. Love European <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> I've had such a bad experience with Italian. But like Andrew always seems to be like seeing all the stuff that everyone else just like ignores and things, and I feel like Aww. that's quite like Eddie. Like I feel like Eddie would like be able to see like if someone was upset that like someone else wouldn't or something. I don't know. That's cute. Yeah. Um. So. <laughs> Derek. Oh. Derek. McDreamy. McDreamy. <laughs> Sarah. Hot <laughs> neuros. <laughs> <laughs> McDreamy. But, like, he's really hard working and like always he like, cares a lot about everyone he loves and stuff. So yeah. McDreamy. Um, this is Owen. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> he's a bit creepy to be honest. But, um... wow. <laughs> he looks like the banana paddle pop. <laughs> really creepy because the actor is his like hair is the same color as his skin. So like an <laughs> American accent, it's kind of weird. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, he's like this big army guy. I mean, not saying that's Jess, Love but that. you know, just like he just stands up for everyone and like always like like not like puts everyone before him, but like he will if he like has to kind of thing. I don't know. Okay. If I was Teddy, like Teddy's so sweet and stuff. So I feel like that's just. Aww. Aww. She's always I like she's so it. like chatty and like mm -hmm. like humble and all that, yeah. Means Jackson. <laughs> um like. I don't know, I feel like Honey would just be a good leader or something. She was. No she idea. was indeed. Yeah. Um Cars Amelia. I love Amelia. Um, but like she's always just like cracking jokes and like being funny and like positive and all that kind of thing. Um, Minnie's Alex. I feel like Minnie is very, like, she always, like, go the extra mile to, like, protect her <laughs> friends and stuff. So I think that's quite yeah. a lot like her. Lila's Stephanie. She's, like, very smart, hardworking, like, strong, and she's, like, always, like, helping out people around her. Um, Dusty's April. 
like super um hard working and like very kind and like loyal to everyone that she knows. Me is Izzy, like very bubbly and like chatty and outgoing. Um, and then Zara is Maggie. Maggie's like really hard working and outgoing and compassionate. And yeah, I think that might be the last one. I oh, know. Um, yeah, she's like Aww. Kelly's very like powerful. Like she could literally just say no to someone and they wouldn't even try asking. Like like Lay. scary, basically. Yay. And she's like, yeah. Anyway. I think that's it. Oh, Here we go, loves. Here we go. Oh, yes. no. <laughs> no. Sorry, no. no. I am a musical fiend. I love Share it. Share the kid. Yeah. I have included things from actual Broadway musicals, off Broadway oh. movies, everything. Oh so, my god, this queen. is yeah. Oh my god! Uh, so I have um amazing. I've assigned you all musicals, and then I've assigned you a very specific character from said oh, musical. Yeah. Yeah. Don't Evil laugh. I love and then, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I feel have a giggle. Right, get me yes! out of my way. Yes, yes, too. I just okay. Not to not not even to mention the flipper scene on the dock where they're dancing in their flippers. I would do that too. <laughs> But my dream is to be in Greece one day, living my best mamma mia life. So yes, queen. Right next yeah. up is Doggo. Doggo is hairspray. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> upbeat. She has good vibes, and she is this. Okay, she's not in the rest of the movie, but she's in this one dance scene, and she absolutely kills it. She's like the main dancer <laughs> in this spark the green dress, and she just knows that she's slaying. <laughs> Next up, Sarah is Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Oh. Oh, no, inspired by the types of dark romances that Sarah reads, but also her confidence and that she radiates that dark feminine vibe. And Velma is your character. She's the powerful leader of the show. She knows she's a baddie. She knows that she's killing it. She knows. Next up is Smog is Six. Yes. It's giving Ava Max. It's giving Ava Max. Fuck the power slay. Um and Catherine is this gal right here. Sarcastic sense of humor, followed her, and let's be real, if Smog was a famous singer, this fit is like her entire vibe. Oh my so. god, absolute. <laughs> Next up, Rue was the sound of yeah. music. Oh, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> <laughs> Not only does she perform in the sound of music, but she gives the running in a field wholesome vibes. And let's be real, she's absolutely one of the singing nuns. I just <laughs> she is a nut. Yeah, it's <laughs> Next up, Blue into the oh, woods. Into the oh, woods. Blue oh, has yeah. <laughs> such cool vibes. The songs are fun. They're bippity boppity. They are just like Blue. And for some reason, in the musical, this random person <laughs> comes on and they've got like this huge wig that's like slightly purple and silver. And I was like, that's. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's a mood. So that's that like. <laughs> Dusty Yay! Phantom of the Opera. Of Ooh. course, this beautiful human loves Phantom of the Opera. Um, but Dusky just gives those main characters, like Regency era gown vibes. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> so there you go. Next up, Sash the Lion King. Yes! Lovely Sash yes. is like the most comforting, caring, devoted person. Just such good vibes. And obviously, Nala, the sweetest little character. Oh, Nala. Next up, Pepper, oh, Les Mis. Pepper, you give off such cool, like, cool, mysterious, powerful vibes. And, like, this poster, I was just like, oh, my God, like, that mysterious, like, direct energy. I love it. Next up, Alex. <laughs> She's <laughs> such an alpha bar. Oh, my God. I know. I, I did this today. I think we all know after Alex's show today in the source cast, I agree. <laughs> She's got the energy to be a dark yeah. baddie. Alphaba is a powerful woman who finds her strength, and we all know Alex will always bring that bad <laughs> day. Period. Yeah. Addie, my fan oh, lady. Oh, my lady. Addie is, like, cool. the sweetest, like, most fun human, and honestly, she really gives the vibes that she'd be, like, a Dior model in Paris, like, just yes. living her best <laughs> life. Very little drama boys. <laughs> oh my god, Yay. this is Audrey. Hello to Audrey. What did I do? 
Audrey is honestly living her best life. She's got a snappy tongue, which is very similar to someone we know. And also, so she seeks universal domination. So, um, mm-hmm. I thought you'd appreciate the universal domination. Oh, part. yeah. Yeah. Uh. Next up, Jess Heathers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Heathers. Jess just Love would the slay not only the uniform, the sachets they do. She just embodies the queen bee. And also not to mention her name is literally mm-hmm. Heather. So, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> It works pretty well. Honey, Hades. Oh, I Town. love Hades. Honey, Town. Gives me, honey gives me absolute like Greek goddess vibes, like so ethereal and amazing, creative, and really sarcastic and sassy, which is like Persephone, um, who's attentive, emotion driven, and an absolute badass. Next up, Minnie Dream Girls. Minnie is like such a sparkly and fun and energetic person. Um, so she is like Dina. Love the sparkles. Gar Hamilton. Yes, yeah. Uh, obviously, you saw Hamilton recently, but I just, it just is you, my friend. Like, it just gives the vibes. And obviously, Angelica, she's witty, she's determined, she's sarcastic, and yeah, just exactly like you. Right. Avo West Side Story. Oh, Avo is literally like the twinkling star, like Maria. She's like thoughtful and soft and kind and so sweet. And West Side Story is literally one of my favorites. It's such a great musical, but also Avo brings like those fun, energetic, chaotic vibes, like their intense dance scenes. So that is that. Next up, we have Astrid Beauty and the Beast, little Chip the Teacher. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Astrid just gives those fun, magical, wistful vibes. <laughs> Next up, we have Carl from Cat. Yes! <laughs> Taylor uh, Swift. The fun and magical <laughs> and unique vibes of cats. And not to mention, we know the love for Taylor Swift. So you are Bombellarina. <laughs> um, she's mischievous and fun. And you're so fun and lovely to talk to and so fun to be around. You should be so confident in yourself, like Bomb, because you're amazing. Next up, we have Dusty from La La Land. Oh, I she's love artistic, her. she's big hearted, she's idealistic and responsible, and her dancing is so fun and wistful, and she gives me those lovely sparkle vibes. Then we have Emmy from Greece. <laughs> Emmy is just this like Ooh, sassy girl living yeah. her best life. This girl is just in a random dance scene, and I was like, you know what? That makes sense. <laughs> That's Emmy. <laughs> Truly, living her best life. Really. Next up, Zara from Kinky Boots. Kinky Boots. <laughs> Thank you, Boots. It's a fun and sparkly musical, upbeat numbers. It's got sass. And you are this fun chica with shoes on her hands. And I was like, you know what? That's Zara. And last up, we have Lila, the Wizard of Oz. Lila, you give the vibes of, like, a favorite nostalgic childhood movie. And you'd have those cute sparkly heels. You'd just click them when you want to travel. And you would definitely have hair ribbons in your hair. (laughs) So that is that. That is mine. Thank well you. Well done, Archie. Yes. Yes. Okay. So yes. welcome to my presentation on Opal Hunters as Light Songs. Anyway, so who is Light? Honestly, who is she? So Valerie Ann Poxider Broken, also known as Light, is a Canadian singer and songwriter. She makes songs in the alt slash indie pop genre as well as dance and electronic. She is my favorite artist ever and I love her so much. Uh, my favorite album is Skin and Earth. I've been a fan for three years. I'm seeing her in October because she's coming to Australia. Like, oh, oh my, my god, god. Lady, I love her. Audi oh Shadow god. Lady used oh one of her songs in her wedding video. Oh my god. Oh my god. She made a comic book called Skin and Earth, which um Ooh. is coming in the mail, so I'm gonna read it. Uh, my year twelve media film was based on one of her songs called Prodigal Daughter. Um and she's married to Blissful drummer Bobra Khan and also Credits to Smog for the inspo from her Ava Max one. Because right. we love it. Anyway, this is the evidence that I have with my media film. Literally lights. All the all the stuff I based my thing off of. You know, you got the the color grading. Um I literally have to search for her name, that's why it's green. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna play a little bit of Lizzie's wedding video. So you can get the vibe yeah, of the song. Lizzie, I love you so much. <laughs> I love her. So this song was written, this song is by Lights. So if you guys have seen it and you were wondering, I'm what is that beautiful song? What is that beautiful song? That is Lights. Anyway, oh we are going to get started. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Sorting press. So, oh Lights has many songs that she's made for her many albums. So, I will be using her five main albums that she's made, excluding her EPs, her collaboration albums with IO and Myth. 
uh, singles her. She's got an alter ego oh, called Lon- Loon, which makes um, goth bounce music. It's really cool. You should also check it out because it's like baddie vibes for real. And her acoustic albums, which is Siberia Acoustic, um, Midnight Machine, Skin and Earth Acoustic, and then Dead, which is an alt synthwave version of Pep. Anyway, so we got The Listening, which is her first album, Siberia, Little Machines, uh, Skin and Earth, favorite album ever. So you're going to see a lot of Little Machines, Skin and Earth, and Pep, because those are like my favorite three. Um, but there are bits of Siberia in The Listening. Anyway, we're going to get started, guys, because I'm not going to shut up. Anyway. So, first off, we have the queen herself, Miss Archie. <laughs> and Archie is real thing because, you know, the song is about looking for the right person in life. And Archie is really looking Aww. for, you know, all the love and the light in the world. And Archie's Aww. literally such a queen. Um, the music video, you know, you got your little two brides riding a skateboard and a bike like Archie's. It's giving the vibes. Um, I love it. Yeah, so that's Archie. Anyway, we have Smog. So We Were Here is from Skin and Earth. Literally the baddest, like, baddest vibes in the song. Like, literally in the music video, they set fire to so much stuff. It's like, also, I forgot to, like, write a little description, so I'm going to improv it as we go along. Um. <clears throat> anyway, so that's Smog, you know, baddie for real. We all love Smog. Next up, we have Sarah, and Sarah, you are literally the peace sign in every single situation because you are just such, Aww. like, a beautiful girl, and you just have all the lovely vibes, and you're, like, kind of like a mediator in the situation where you're just, like, supporting everyone, and we love you for it. Anyway, next up, we have Doggo, and Doggo is Siberia. Such a bop with this song. It's got a lot of very heavy, um, like, I don't know how to... It's got a lot of heavy bass in it, which I feel like Doggo would like, but it's also very <laughs> electronic as well. Um, and definitely Doggo gives me the vibe of being in your own world. So you will definitely, I feel like you'll definitely vibe with Siberia. Anyway, next up we have Rue and Rue is Easy Money. Easy Money is such like a vibe song. Just listen to it in the car. Like I just picture like Rue vibing to it in the car, just like sticking her hands up in the air. Like, um, oh. Yeah, so Easy Money's from Pep. Pep, um, you don't worry with that. You know that spelling error I made. Those, um, we're not going to talk about that. Anyway, uh, Blue is Meteorites from Little Machines, and I just feel like Meteorites is so good because, especially with the Midnight's Machine version, it's very like a slow wave vibe of like, you know, just sticking true to who you are, and that's definitely um something Blue encapsulates, and we can all respect Blue for that because we love Blue. Next up, we have me with the best song ever. I'm very, very biased. Um, Yay. I'm very biased. Almost Had Me is my all-time favorite song by Lights. It's literally, like, such an immaculate, like, delicious bop. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about it because it, you just listen to it, like, period. Sash is Lucky Ones. Um, it's such, like, a vibe. Sash is such, like, a beautiful person. We love Sash so, so much. And it's, like, Sash just empowers every single person around her in the club. And this is definitely the vibe of the song. Next up, we have Pepper. This song is also for the baddie vibes, such with Smog Sun. So Moonshine is literally just, like, being in your era. Like, Pepper, you are a baddie for real. And we all want to be a baddie like Pepper. Alex is in my head because she is quite literally in her head. Um, <laughs> um, I feel like you would like the drums in this because Josh Dunn is the drummer for 21 Pilots. Um, oh my god, Josh Dunn. Yeah, but it's definitely like, it's just such a bop of being like, oh yeah, I'm in my head, but I'm proud of it. Like, I'm going to do my thing and no one's going to give a shit. Um, also from Pep, because Pep is amazing. Next up, we have Addy, who is February A, our first song from The Listening. Um... I just feel like Addy would vibe to the song because it's very, like, you know, still true, true to yourself, but it's got, like, some soft core elements and stuff like that. Next up, we have Berry, who is How We Do It. Um, This song is, like, very, like, I'm going to do my own thing and everyone can come watch me and, you know, just, like, it's got those chill city vibes. And- uh, next up, we have Jess, who is from all sides from Little Machines again. Uh, Little Machines is such a good album. It's definitely like more electro pop and just gives the vibes of, you know, just like 
this person who radiates like love and all that mm. in their consciousness and just is such a cute person we love jess <laughs> uh honey is skydiving so skydiving is a metaphor for love in the skin and earth universe but it's just such a good song like it's got like such a nice beat to it and just like the whole lyrics and symbolism i feel like really resonates with honey a mini is heavy rope um I feel like we can all use someone who tosses us a heavy rope, which I feel like Minnie does. Uh, Minnie is very supportive of everyone in the club, and she literally makes the cutest crochet things I've ever seen in my life. Like, mm-hmm. to be so creative, and I feel like this song like really encapsulates that as well. Um, it's from Siberia. Scar, you are the baddest, baddest b- I've seen <laughs> in my life. Like, you are prodigal daughter. You give no sorry for the swearing but like literally you love magic feminism what more do you want like i base my media film off of this like this is a special song you know empowering women and all that like get it next up we have avo which is okay 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 is literally like saying oh yeah my feelings are you know but it's like whatever like okay um definitely such a bop too like it's got like such a good rhythm to it and like it's just so good Astrid is Kix. Um, Kix is like such a vibey river kind of vibe, especially in the acoustic um, album. And it's like just such an uplifting bop. And I feel like Astrid is like, just it just fits her so well. Next up, we have Car, who is Lions. You know, just very uplifting. You're here to support everyone. We love you so much, Car. And you're literally just like so uplifting to everyone in the club. And you know, it's just, you're just Lions. I can't. I can't really say anything about it. Um, Dusty is giants, you know, even though you might have a lot of problems facing over you, um, like with Dusty being in a different country, but I don't know how that relates. <laughs> <laughs> but it's literally just such a good song, just like uplifting everyone and just being like, oh yeah, we got all these problems, but it's like, I can still do it. And I feel like Dusty is like the cheerleader for that. Um, Skin and Earth, once again, you can see Loon, um, in the background, obviously. Next up, we have Scar. So our beautiful Scar, Sky Kite, which is timing is everything from Siberia. You know, you've all got the timing and you to do things, especially Scar. Like, you have your whole life probably, like, prepared way more than we all do. Um, <laughs> but it's just such a good song and I feel like you would really like it. Emmy is Muscle Memory, one of my favourite songs from Little Machines. And it's basically like, oh... Uh, even if someone I care about is far away, I can still feel their presence and all that. And we can definitely feel Emmy's presence in the club. You know, it's just like muscle memory. Like, you know, we're all there for each other. And Emmy definitely gives us that vibe. Such a good song. Lila is Until the Light. It's definitely a song where you're driving in the car, like, like Rue with your hands in the air, just being like, yeah, we're going to roll. Um, it's just such a good song. And I feel like Lila would really like it. Next up, we have Zara, lastly, from The Listening. Uh, the Listening is such a good song, but it's it's just so good. It's got, like, a lot of that synth pop kind of electro vibes. I feel like you would really like it. So, lastly, watch Dead End and Joshua Tree. It is literally a free concert, like, 45 minutes, and it's got a lot of your songs in it, especially from Skin and Earth and uh, Little Machines, and it's, like, kind of made into a more... EDM kind of big bass kind of concert. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. So this is the Opal Hunter Opal Hunters members as princesses with the distorted Google image in the background where all of your faces are stretched and pixelated. Love it. <laughs> Love, Love it. it. Love quality. Yeah. Mini twenty quality. So first up, eyes. we have Archie and Dusky as mm-hmm. Al. Yes, got, Archie. I think Al's probably my favorite Disney princess because Beauty and the Beast was the first like show that I ever did, so she's just become my favorite. She is such a sleigh, honestly. All right, next we have Rue and Honey as Vanilla. <laughs> Honestly, so cute. I, I, I love her so much. Oh my god. She's just everything. Okay. Next we have... Leela as Rapunzel. You're super sweet Aww. and 
just creative and oh my god I just love Rapunzel so much such a sleigh okay next we have Scar and Pepper. I don't care if she's a queen she's a princess in my mind now okay just <laughs> now okay um she's super strong and brave I just oh my god she's just so cool man she just like I don't know how to explain her. She's just really cool. <laughs> and then we have Barry and oh. Avro. Oh. They're super, like, bubbly and funny and kind. And this is a really bad picture of Anna, but whatever. <laughs> okay. We have Addie and Car as Cinderella. No. Another one of my favourites. I... Don't, um, these pictures look so bad in the slideshow form. It's actually so no, funny. I love it. No, they actually kind of nice. the bad pictures. I just went with it. Okay, then we have Alex <laughs> as Mulan. Literally oh. her favorite. Oh. oh. Okay, then we have Dog. Yeah, no. Yes. Don't <laughs> <laughs> the worst photo I've seen. Don't get. I found the first one. At least it's pre ogre photo. Pre ogre. Pre ogre. Yeah. And we have Emmy and Minnie. Aww. <laughs> These photos are like scary. <laughs> I love them both. <laughs> okay. Next, we have Jess and Lara. It's not a sleigh. She's actually such a baddie. I know. She is. I, I want to watch Dusty. Aww. Yeah. Kid. Look at her. We have Sash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit sleepy. <laughs> oh, no, I was actually killing me. A little bit sleepy. Too much. What is that? Yeah, I found it. <laughs> <laughs> The eyebrows. These are oh. me. Okay. Ariel. Oh. I have his Ariel. Oh, yeah. Just... Hello, yeah. And also... <laughs> yeah. All right. We have Smog <laughs> of Moana. <laughs> yes. I am Moana. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have Sarah, Nana. I think this is our last one. Let me see. Yeah, this is our last one. Yes. All right. All right. I'm gonna put it in the presentation thing. Oh, love it. Love it, Zara. Yeah. Okay. All right, full hunters as diseases slash illnesses by me, Doctor Alex. Oh god. If you haven't graduated yet, you can't claim that doctor title. (laughs) Alex. I have a doctorate in bullshit biomedical science from the University of Dilution Town. Um, when you do enough crap like me, you tend to know everything. Um, and- she says. Okay, so we have a trigger warning. Um, the following slides Surely contain not. images and slash diagrams that show real life conditions of the oh illnesses. Oh they were described oh as advised. <laughs> Oh um, gosh. you know, I don't even flinch. I don't even flinch. You guys should be fine, you know. Okay, so we're going to start oh, with okay. Archie. Oh, my <laughs> God, Alex. I hate you so much. Are you actually <laughs> kidding me? That's the worst <laughs> thing. I chose this for Archie because oh. it's an absolute yonks to see messages slash reply to them. That's a lie. Okay, next person is Dusty. <laughs> no. Dusty is <laughs> For Dusty, because we always say that meme. They were the I R I D. Oh, C Y D L I T I S. Ava is pseudo cow. Oh my god. Pseudo cow fox is a disease caused by the parafoxinia virus or the pseudo cow fox virus. Humans can contract this by contact with livestock infected with bovine papulus stomatitis. Then we contract this might become infected with itchy nodules found generally on the hands slash fingers. And obviously, Avro goes to an agriculture school and it's exposed oh to livestock. Um, also, I imagine getting a disease from a cow. Oh, good. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hate this so much. Addy this is, is so Addy's bad. This <laughs> is for Addy, as I thought it was funny. There was a disease named after Addy. The next person we're doing 
is that oh, <laughs> hepatitis oh, A? Lord. And I chose it for Sash because I looked it up and apparently someone got hep A and a Macca's and Sash works at a Macca's. And, you know, yeah. the Macca's kitchens are disgusting. Oh, oh God. Berry is very, very. Oh, my God. What the f- Don't even read out the top bits. Just read out the bottom points and move on. <laughs> okay. Please. Oh Alex, we all hate you right now. <laughs> oh my so God. Um, okay. I tried this for Berry. I was just trying to find some strawberry on this, but couldn't find anything and thought the name of this was funny. Okay. Oh Next God. person. Rue is Q fever. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I chose this for Rue as I read out that Q fever can come from kangaroos and contaminate <laughs> Oh, God. I love All that. Right, next person. Small gets the black flag. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> I chose this for small because I found it funny as I had to assign someone to the black death as it's an iconic sickness in Earth's history, oh an iconic God. disease oh for an iconic member of Opal Hunters. <laughs> oh, my God. Disgusting. <laughs> Blue is Rocky Madden's oh Bro, my old nickname was Rocky. What do you have Oh my god, god. what? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I chose this for Blue as they give us oh country vibes god. and it just makes sense to me oh. in my head. Oh. <laughs> and it's my old nickname. Help. Alright, Sarah is a bold. Oh, oh my god, god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, oh. Um, Ash, No! Stop! Skip it! Skip it! Skip oh it! Skip it. Uh, Pepper <laughs> is Alice in Wonderland Syndrome. Um, I chose this for Pepper as I always oh, see them goodness. watching anime on Crunchyroll and thought that watching so much anime can more perception of reality. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> oh. Uh, like, uh, Minnie like is Petard Syndrome. Oh, oh my god! Um, I chose this Jesus. for Minnie as I've never seen Minnie in a call, only talking in the chat, so she's like a ghost, but to me is still alive. Zara is rabies. Oh, my oh God. Alex, oh, stop! <laughs> I chose this for Zara. Someone needs to get rabies, and Zara was my first pick, so I'm enjoying rabies. Alex! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? Oh, Who want to what does that even mean? <laughs> I'm putting um, senses on this. I don't know if this is the last one. I don't know. Um, but Carl no, is for an accent syndrome. This is really um, in the of uh, one. As I've never heard her talk, I would be surprised if she had a different accent to all of us. Oh um, I think God. that's it, actually. Alex, yes, oh, no. <laughs> that's it, guys. What is going? Okay, I will be reading cards out for her. So, number one. Oh my <laughs> I love this song. Actually, you are such a special person who will always constantly try your best to make other people happy and smile. Not only are you a super fun person to be around and talk to, but you have such a bubbly personality that everyone loves. Well, that's so sweet. Thank you. I love that song. Oh my gosh. Right, next up. Doggo. This is so doggo. Although I don't know you well, you seem like such a nice person. You're definitely someone who's always there for people when they need it. You're also such a dedicated member to OH and a pretty chill person. Love it. Love the photos. Sarah Enchanted, when I first met you, you were so welcoming to me when I first joined OH. You're such a kind person and you have so much respect for everyone. You're so helpful and I can't thank you enough for how supportive you've been. That's so cute more gorgeous this song is so true you're literally gorgeous smog i have known you for a long time honestly you've been a really good friend to me you're so fun to hang out with you're also so funny and such a caring person so sweet i love reputation style Rue, you're such a chill person to be around you're so polite and very hardworking. you're such a bright person and always makes people's days you're someone who everyone can count on so cute Lou, you're such a loyal friend. I've known you for a while now, and you're such a genuine person. You're so friendly and so inspiring. You're also such a talented artist, too. So true. Thank you for being an awesome mm-hmm. friend. I oh, love paper rings. That's so cute. <laughs> photo of me. It's terrifying. Slay. <laughs> Slay. Yes, does Oh, I me. love having a haze. Oh! Honestly, this instantly made me think of you because you just give those vibes where you ignore negative things or words someone might say about you. You're such a friendly person. You're also very inspiring and putting lots of dedication into things. You're also entertaining and fun to be around. 
Pippa, I don't know you well, but you seem like such a sweet person. You were so welcoming when I joined, and when I've had the chance to talk to you, you're so nice and funny, but you also seem like such a chill person and fun to hang out with. Sash, all too well. I chose this song for you because you're such a chill and relaxed person. You're really nice and easygoing. I love talking to you because you're just so easy to talk to and you have good vibes. You're also so caring and supportive and everyone really appreciates you. This is so cute, Car. Oh, my I know, God. Car. It's so sweet. Alex, shake it off. Alex, <laughs> you're honestly such a friendly person. You're funny and really enjoyable to talk to. You're such a fun person and always have such an upbeat, fun vibe. Fun. I don't know a lot about you, but you seem like such a sweet person. You're always so super nice and a really supportive person. You genuinely seem like a really good person and a really good friend to have. Oh, Barry, are you ready for it? Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> You're such a joy to talk to. You have so much respect for people. And I chose the song because you just give out baddie vibes, DBH. But for real, you're so nice and always try your best to include everyone in conversations or events. That's so true. I love that song. Jess vigilante <laughs> shit. The song just gave me Jess vibes, to be honest. You're honestly super nice and seems like a person who tries their best no matter what. I haven't really spoken to you a lot, but when I joined OH, you were super welcoming to me. Cute honey card again. You're one of my closest SSO friends ever. I've known you for so long and I appreciate you and everything you've done for me. You're such a trustworthy and supportive person. You're just so much fun to speak to as well. You're so kind and I look up to you so much. You have such a positive personality that I absolutely love. Thank you, honey. That's so cute. <laughs> Mini Cruel Summer. I was stuck on what song to choose for you, to be honest, but I chose this one because you're such an upbeat person and always fun to be around. You're so, so talented at crocheting and I love the food ideas and the cooking channel. I know Mini's such a slay. Avo22, I haven't spoken to you very much before, but you're genuinely such a good person. You always try your best in several things and seem so, so sweet and super nice and caring. You also seem like such a loyal person. Avo is so 22, though. Ugh. Um, Scar, welcome to New York. You're such a cool person. You're always such a happy person, and you're also such a kind-hearted person who is very inclusive to everyone in OH. You're also very skilled and talented. Cute. Dusty, I did something bad. I chose this song for you because you seem like the type of person who stands up for themselves all the time. You're honest. You're sorry. You're a really nice person, and I honestly have so much respect for you. Also, love your accent. Also, same. Emmy, you're on your own, kid. Emily, you're honestly so loyal. You're so funny and super fun to talk to and be around. I really enjoy having you around in OH because you're so caring and supportive. That's so cute. Lila, Midnight Rain, I don't talk to you very often, but you're such a nice person. I love knowing you. That's so cute. <laughs> You have such a unique and positive personality. You're super kind and super trustworthy. Zara, The Great War. To me, you seem like such a strong and brave person, which is pretty much why I chose this song for you. You're very cheerful and so talkative. You also seem very honest. You seem like such a good person. That's so cute. That is that. Thank you, Car. That was Thanks, so Car. Funny. I know. Some of us yeah. write OPs with one P and some of us write it with two Ps. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Let's go. Addie. Addie will be living with her cat. She'll live in a cute little bungalow decorated with sage green cat coasters ordered online from Loops by Loops. <laughs> <laughs> she will make little cucumber sandwiches and feed them to her cat. She'll be a crazy cat lady just like Scarlett and Emmy. That's so cute. Alex will live in a super fancy house with her boyfriend. <laughs> She'll have a doctor slash medic medicine related career and earn lots of money. Alex will be well known and very successful. They might even make a Grey's Anatomy episode after her. Oh my god, Slay. <laughs> Archie will be juggling a number of careers, including a part time lawyer, actress, and singer. They <laughs> could who. She will travel the world and will try to visit all of her favorite countries and might even meet up with an old friend along the way. That's so cute. As Archie gets older, she'll still <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> my god. Most of the members will be in this So after they retire to Overloops, it'll move on to the grandchildren. That's amazing. I love that. Thank you, Lila. Can I? Astrid will be the owner of Zebra Race. Tables, a very luxurious stable in the beautiful valleys of New Zealand. On one side, the owner's accommodation. On the other, eight horse stables, associated workshops, feed rooms, and tack rooms. A separate entry leads up to a two-bedroom, self-contained accommodation above the stables. Five out of eight stables can be rented for personal use, and the farm even features a dressage ring and a racetrack around the back. Oh, my God. Oh, Astrid. Oh. Avo will become a famous <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
tiger. She posts weekly on her YouTube channel where her adorable animals, ducks, pigs, lambs, ponies, you name it, are featured. This captures a significantly large audience. Everyone loves the weekly dose of serotonin. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Barry will have completed his <laughs> criminology degree yeah. at university and will pursue oh, a career yeah. in that category. Barry and Rue now work together in law enforcement at died as. Barry will be a gamer on the side, even still with Opal Hunters at this time. He'll grow old with us. Barry will retire after working in the field for over 30 years and retire at Opal Homes. That's so Just beautiful. Barry. Yes, Mary. Lou Let's will live go. in a little cottage up in the mountains. There'll be plenty of hiking oh, yeah. trails nearby, and Milo will live with her big to go all <laughs> the time. Blue occasionally drives down into the suburbs and visits dog beaches for Milo. Blue will also love painting and drawing scenic views from her cottage. That's yeah, so- oh. that sounds like a dream. Oh my god! Oh my god! Last week, every single. She loves her so much. She decided to become a dancer. Although Dance Moms was a while ago now. Car binges the episodes just for Mackenzie. Car secretly owns a TikTok multi fandom <laughs> edit account with more than fifty million followers. The thing is, nobody knows it's her. You didn't hear oh from me. God. Oh. oh my god! Doggo will be a dance teacher at her dance academy with her intense eight-hour, forty-five minutes long <laughs> practices <laughs> oh, week. Togo will excel in her favourite genre of jazz. She'll teach kids of all ages and will have a pet dog named Togo. But it's also a therapy dog and wears a cute tuxedo. And Togo sometimes brings him to her dance classes. That's so cute. <laughs> Name Doggo, that's funny. Dusky will become a famous writer and write loads of series. Some of them will be her favourite genre, period drama. On the Not side, the will be the only- Work exposing like my job. Queensland to all states uh, and territories in Australia. What's next to conquer New Zealand? Oh, not the work. I'll see they're coming for you. <laughs> Dusty will refer to more German play will refer more German players to Opal Hunters, secretly turning Opal Hunters into a German empire, who all have level 18 alts and wake up super early to come to events. Dusty will be a part-time <laughs> zookeeper and her love for all animals carries on. She will travel the world and bumper to Archie along the way. Her goal is to try every single national dish from all around the world. That's so cute. Emmy will also be a crazy cat lady like Scarlett and Addie. She will visit all the Chase Atlant- Atlantic concerts and even apply to be security for their concerts, so she'd be at every show. This is a very smart idea. And guess what? It worked! Her bedroom will be full of posters from each tour and always grab spares to sell on the black market. <laughs> so good. Honey will be a professional horse rider and will win lots of ribbons and trophies. Honey will continue her love for her pets into her future and they will all roam around her house which is connected to her own stables she's sponsored by multiple horse tech companies who have given her the funds to purchase these stables amazing jess will be a professional artist who does collaborations mm. with sash monthly she has a part-time job as a comedian and loves to watch johnny <laughs> in her free time even though she's seen them all multiple times <laughs> Oh. Minnie will live on a cute farm, a cute little farm with her soul horse. She'll be famous and known by all. Some some know her for her insane horse riding talent. Others know her from her highly successful crochet business, Loops by Lucy, worth over one billion dollars. Minnie will also crochet little scarves for all her horses <laughs> and regularly sells cat crochet coasters to Addie. That's so cute. Peppa will live in a mansion that has a ginormous library in the center. All the books are anime and cartoons slash Japanese manga books, which I actually learned the other day are read backwards and go from right to left. That's so cool. I didn't know that either. It's true. Rue, I think we all know what this one's going to be. Rue would 100% be a detective or some kind of DNA private investigator. Some may say it was influenced by her favorite show, Criminal Minds. Others may say it's because she knows every Brooklyn Nine-Nine episode off by heart. I can't pinpoint it, but I'm psychic, and I can definitely tell Rue will be working on the police force somehow stopping crime, even if it means having to stop bullying Scar. Ah. We will also have the entire Squishmallow collection and live with her soul horse, some kind of horse related to Batman, in a cute little mushroom house like the one she made on the old Swim Minecraft server. So cute! Sarah will be a teacher at her local high school. She'll teach languages, as she knows so many, and English, as her love of reading can be passed on for generations. That's yes, so cute. Sarah. Sash will have quit her nightmare shift thing <laughs> and taken a career as a full-time artist. Yes. She'll make digital art along with intricate horse sketches paid by the finest designers in town. Scar will live in a mansion with her horse stable <laughs> attached to the back of it. Oh my God, I wish. 
She will be a nurse slash doctor and earn lots of money. Scar will then be known as the crazy cat lady, along with Addie, and with her hundreds of kittens that roam around her mansion. Scar decides to meet up with Archie midway through her travel. Hell yeah. They decide to continue their journey together and discover all the secret nooks and crannies, the gems and the sights. Scar goes back to Thailand where she took that trip one year in her teens. Yes! And takes Archie to her favorite beach. That's so wholesome because Sky and I actually want to do that. That's so cute. <clears throat> Smog will be a professional dancer working with Doggo, teaching loads of genres. Smog only teaches dances to songs of Ava yeah, Max. <laughs> Smog also has a dog named Charlie, who's a Labrador, who loves to comfort dancers when they're feeling stressed. Smog loves to game on the side, and her star on Instagram has reached 10,000 followers. Hell yeah. Yes. Zara will be a student teacher at Doggo and Smog's Dance Academy. She always comes to dance in Taylor Swift merchandise and all her dances are to say Taylor Swift songs. And that is the end of Lila's presentation. Yeah, yeah Lila. Wow. Well done, Lila. Ooh. Well, I like the background. Oh. Oh. Baloo. Yes, Queen. Who knows? Oh. Wait, wait. <laughs> So oh, the hundreds of characters. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the butterflies. Oh, you know what else to do. Woohoo. Yeah, the butterflies get a little bit repetitive, but that's okay. We it's love cute, them. though. That's okay. Yeah. All right, quick disclaimer. This is literally for fun, and I stress doing most of this because up until about oh, 10 minutes ago, I had not finished. Um, love that. So <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Beginning with Archie. So <laughs> Archie is us, but I don't <laughs> think that would work. And knowing Archie is, you know, theatre, musicals, Talia was literally the obvious option and Aww. the one that made most sense. I love it. Thank you. Oh my god, she's a queen. Alright, now Doggo. <laughs> Okay, so oh my I'm guessing God. most people have seen the video of Jasper so dancing. Yes. It's amazing. And Doggo's dance moves, yes, just uh -huh. it was instantaneous. Okay. Yep. And absolutely. You know, it's mm. just, yes, they would have a huge dance party together. They would. Oh my God. Well, Sarah, you are frip. <laughs> so true. So, oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, Sarah knows three languages. So this is what made me decide on Fripp because I feel like Fripp would know literally everything. And, and also, she kind of looks like Fripp. <laughs> oh, God. Like, <laughs> you two, like, you are like so, like, so, like, you two. <laughs> no, I don't mean, I don't mean that instantly. I mean that, like, you give Fripp, you give Fripp vibes. Oh god. Sarah's just like rolling right now. I mean it in the, I mean it in the best way possible. You don't actually oh look god. like Prep Sarah. I mean it in the best way possible. You give the them road rage. rage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like Fripp would have road rage as well, a hundred percent. Just like look how angry he looks. <laughs> I get that feeling, you know? <laughs> Honestly, that look that Fripp is doing right now is literally that meme, that that emoji that Sarah just sent to me. That hands on the hips. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the attitude. <laughs> oh, look at the moisture. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> this is not good. All right, moving on. We have Rue as a hermit. <laughs> now, I know Rue loves crime. And written here, who better than the person who's in the wrong place at the wrong time, right? He was involved with GED because he, you know, he got too involved. And yeah, they didn't like that. No. So I feel like Rue, that would happen to Rue. Like, no mm. true. Like makeshift detective, or not even makeshift detective, literal detective, <laughs> and you know, he's just he's just chilling. Love it. And then smog as Captain <laughs> Waterloo. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Love that. 
<laughs> He's right next to the disco, and you know what you can do when you, you literally stand right next to the disco? You can play all the Ava Max songs you want. So true. Exactly. So it's like, why not? You have the opportunity just boogie to some Ava Max songs, because you can. Mm, and he's also very aggressive, which is like Sergeant, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very um, uh, overpowering. Not overpowering, mm. but commanding. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm then, like, Dusky, Aww. you're Lisa. So, it was actually quite tricky to decide on quite a few people. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, but yes, so I feel like you really would vibe with Lisa. You're just chilling, listening to music, maybe do a little, a little something, guitar, you know, who knows. Oh now, my god. <laughs> Peppa's going to be evil now because, mm. yes, we love Peppa and Peppa. And, oh goodness, did I put this in here? Yes, I did. This makes such a baddie. So, <laughs> so Peppa loves money and crime so I'm like who better than it was either going to be Miss Drake or Mr. Campbell mm, mm -hmm. but see Peppa works at a cafe and mm. because of this I'm like I don't feel like Mr. Campbell would have the patience to work in a cafe therefore it is Miss Drake I love it And Sash. Oh my god. That's so funny. I remember you saying you've been around horses for quite a while. So, you know. And he would be someone to just be like, stuff it, I'm going to learn art. So true. He would do watercolour paints for sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or just painting out in the field and be like, yeah, this is nice. Yeah, paint by numbers. A little bit yes, of, paint by numbers. Bit of and that's, mm. that's a Justin move. <laughs> and then Jess is Farah. Yeah. So after a little bit of extended research, because I am busy and I apologize, um, I figured that Jess was starting a business. And, you know, they sell similar things, or they're going to. And you know yeah. what? it's like, literally, you would be Farah in the SSO universe. So, mm -hmm. hundred percent. I yeah. love that hustle. Actually, yeah. no, she makes us do everything for her. <laughs> well, we <laughs> do do everything. That's okay. She's an entrepreneur. She just stands there <laughs> after we do all the work. Well, I mean, she just stands there and collects the money. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'd do it. <laughs> there you go. If you had the chance. <laughs> <laughs> free work. Or free employees. Why not? Infinite money. Exactly. Who wouldn't want that? All right. Who's next? Oh, we have Lila as Jamie Olive Tree. Oh, I didn't uh -huh. do that. Right. So Lila loves baking. And f literally first thing... <laughs> That came to my mind was Jamie Olive Tree. And oh at first, I think Lila was going to be Farah, but I'm like, no, Farah doesn't bake. She just vibes. And Jamie Olive Tree, she bakes because, yes, and she lives right near the stables. So you can literally go down to the stables, hang around there, and do some baking. Gotcha. And, yeah, why not? Don't know who I have next. Let's see. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, Mary. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Mary. Oh. As well. Now, there are some interesting choices on here because mm -hmm. I didn't want to label people as the same um, NPC because it didn't feel right. Um, mm -hmm. Even though multiple people could probably have been the same person. So, just a heads up. I probably should put that in the disclaimer, but it's okay. Um, but, Barry, you do multiple sports. So, you know what? Here's Ricky. He is <laughs> great. Even though I don't, we only talked to him in a few quest lines, and now he does the races with Mepino. But, mm. you know, he's a vibe. He's mm. 
truly great to be I mean, around did you as you see that, Did you see that movie did in the boxing ring? Oh, yeah, Back exactly. Whatever that was. So that was amazing. Yeah, mm. that was so good. Oh, a little bit cursed, but that's okay. Hmm. <laughs> we love that. Scar. It's in Hina Sky Kai. As what? Emma. Oh my so, god, you're so right. <laughs> I just, I get the vibes. I'm, mm. I don't know why. Mm hmm. But it's just the way it is. I see the vibes. Yeah. <laughs> You're the frozen lady. <laughs> She's the frozen lady. <laughs> and then how like the cats go, burr! <laughs> oh my oh, god. Yes. She's the lady we found in Dino Valley and claims to be a family member of, um, what's his name? I genuinely forgot his name. Oh no. Albert Bruh. Einstein. That's oh. his name. Yeah. Bye. Um, so he's confirmed in the SSO universe, but anyway, um, so yes, you're studying biomed, so you're very smart, obviously, yes, um, meaning, yes, because she is very smart as well, and you would lead Jorvik in many researching frontiers. Oh, goodness. Good. And then Honey as uh -huh. Rhaenyra. Oh my god, I didn't say that right. Rhaenyra. So, my reasoning for this is I've known you for quite a while. And you're a very sweet person, as is Rhaenyra. And also quite smart. And like, oh, there's another word. But yes, you're very smart. And so is she. So it's like, hmm, that would make sense. You would work very well together. And it would just be amazing. Cute. And then Avo is Mayo. Uh -huh. so, so cute. He has. So I know, Avo, you have two rabbits. And don't ask where I'm getting these notes from. Nobody That's will know. Terrifying um, blue. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, I know Ava has two rabbits. Um, and we don't talk about that. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> Ava would definitely have her own farm and be like, I don't care what you say. I want my farm and nobody's going to tell me what to do. So, you know what? Yes, Ava. We love that for you. And I feel like Maya would also be really like on the forefront of, yep, this is what we do. This is, you know, who I am. And yeah. So moving on. Zara would be Alex. And yes, a weird choice at first. But with your weird sense of humor, I feel like it would work. You would be Alex in the SSO universe. I love it. And also, I'm sorry, but Tin Can's eyes look very big. Wait, let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> like huge. Really oh big. my goodness. <laughs> that is funny. And then Carl would be Hugh. Oh. I feel like this would work really well because Carr is such a caring person and the amount of animals you have, oh my god, 28. Like, holy. Anyway, I feel like you're a quite, like, quite a caring person. So, you know, and with those 28 animals and all your experience, you would surely be here caring for everyone at the rescue ranch. Aww. Because you're such a caring person. And then Emmy as Linda. Because I know you love books, and it just, it felt right. You have many different nationalities, and also a lot of pets as well. But, I'm sorry, I couldn't find another person that kind of matched you and all the pets. But she does have a cat. So, you know what? That's a win. Cats are lovely. Oh, goodness. And that is all because Yay! 
Yeah, blue. <laughs> That's 720 Poppy. <laughs> yeah. That is amazing. Well done, Blue. Well done, Blue. Thanks. That was amazing.